Hi, this is JC, and this is JC Crowell Draws. For today's project, we're going to make a carbon copy C. First, we need to open up a word processor. And just like before, we're going to make a big letter. Now, our big letter is going to be the letter C this time, and then we're going to print it. And you might make more than one copy, but also remember you can just draw this letter. You don't have to print it off if you don't have a printer. Or you could use one of our other strategies to create the outline of the letter. And for today's materials, we're going to need our big letter C and a couple extra pieces of paper. Then we need some scissors. Always ask permission to use scissors. And we're going to need some more masking tape. We're going to need possibly an eraser and a pencil sharpener. You probably want a couple pencils, but then you also need some colored pencils as well. But for the pencils, if you have like a big, dark, maybe kind of like kindergarten pencil, that would work even better for this project. Now, I also have some transfer paper, some carbon copy paper. Way back when, we used to use carbon paper to make copies instantly as you wrote out forms or very important documents. Basically, this paper is kind of like tracing paper on one side, but then on the back, it has a bunch of carbon. It has essentially kind of like pencil lead smothered all across the back of it so that when you write on top of it, it transfers whatever you write down onto the next page. And yeah, we used to use this for really important official documents when I grew up. We don't see it as much anymore now that we have technology. And don't worry about having any transfer paper, any carbon copy paper laying around, because today we're going to make our own. Using our printed off C, hopefully if it's a big and dark enough letter, you can see it through the paper if you flip it over, we're going to transfer our pencil onto the back of that C. Now you could cover any portion of paper that you want to, but for today, for this project, we're just gonna focus on doing it on the letter that we printed off. And you're going to cover the entire back of that letter C. You're going to try to make it fairly dark and fairly thick, back and forth, back and forth, writing, drawing, scribbling, covering the entire back of that paper with as much pencil lead as possible. So much pencil lead that if you were to rub your finger on it, you would be able to transfer some of that pencil lead onto the paper. See those smudges? That means there's plenty of carbon now on the back of our paper. Once we have our carbon paper created for our letter C, we're going to cut it out. So carefully get those scissors and ask permission to cut out this piece of paper. Get some help if you need it. And we are going to cut right along the very edge of our letter. Try to cut it out as perfectly as possible. Take your time with this. And then you have your very own piece of transfer paper, your carbon copy C. We're going to take our carbon copy C and we're going to put it in the middle of our blank sheet of white paper. Now when you tape the carbon copy C down, don't tape it down so securely that it might rip the paper when we take it off, because we are going to take this off here in a moment. But now, we need to draw some objects. We need to draw some different drawings that start with the letter C, because that's our project for today. And can I get some suggestions? Okay, I think I heard that one, so I'm going to start drawing this. Maybe you can guess what it is at home. And is that a cloud? No, no, it's not a cloud. It looks like... Ah! Cotton candy. Good guess, good guess from the back. Another suggestion, please. I need another suggestion. Okay, okay, I'll draw that one. Off those other people there that just tuned in. All right, this one looks fairly happy. Looks familiar. And I think, yes, definitely. Yep, you guessed it. That's a clown. And one more suggestion. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me see here. So, yeah, we'll draw that part there and add some of that. And then... Yeah, let's repeat that. We're going to make copies of these anyway, so let's have... copy and a copy and can you yes in the back yeah 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 yep that is a carousel and can anybody guess what our theme is for our letter c yep carnival circus circus carnival whatever you want it to be all of these objects and events start with the letter c so 
we're going to carefully tear our drawings out because we're going to be moving our drawings around, tracing them on top of our carbon copy C so that it transfers our drawing onto the blank paper below. So you can see I just traced my clown. You can kind of see the indent in the carbon copy C. And I'm going to carefully, just to show you, you can check this at any point, but try not to lift it up too much because you might crinkle the paper. But I want to show you what it does. So by putting my drawing on top of my carbon copy C, tracing my drawing, it then presses down on the paper, which presses on the pencil, which maybe you can see it just barely there, transfers, copies my clown. So I'm going to carefully put back my letter C so it's exactly where it was before. And now, instead of drawing another clown, I'm going to move on to the cotton candy. And I don't want to put it right on top of my clown. If you do, that's okay. You could make a really crazy design with this. But I'm going to be careful, and I'm going to move my cotton candy so it's just right next to my clown. And I'm going to trace back over it. Then I'm going to do my carousel and then I'm going to trace the clown, and then the cotton candy, and then the carousel, and back and forth and back and forth, turning this, moving this, so that each drawing is a repeated pattern now that's going to be right next to the other drawings. And if you need to, double check it. Oh, I see right there. Okay, yeah, that's where I ended my last carousel. So I'm gonna start my next clown, just right next to it, and finish it off right at the very edge. Now carefully take that tape off and notice all of our drawings transferred. It's very light. You might not even hardly be able to see it, but it's in the basic shape of the seat. And from here, we're going to get our colored pencils, and we're now going to trace over those light pencil lines with some bright colors to really make those drawings pop. And remember, when you draw over your drawing, the letter C, the carbon copy portion, ended. So the very edge of my clown there, the hair and the top of the hat, I'm not going to draw it because it didn't get copied. My cotton candy, the whole thing was there, so I traced the entire object. However, my carousel, most of it was there, but that top corner did not get copied. So I am not going to draw it. And this creates the illusion of a border. It forces our eyes and our brain to finish the drawing and the letter C for themselves. So you're going to color each object. I'm doing a pattern to my color. You can draw whatever colors you want to. You can mix colors. You can do more than one color on an object. And if you need to sharpen your pencil, make sure you do that because you want these lines to be consistent to create a good pattern. One recommendation I have when you're using a pencil sharpener is don't twist the pencil. Twist the sharpener. It's kind of like if you were chopping up vegetables. You wouldn't turn the avocado to cut it with the knife. You move the knife. So carefully sharpen your pencil if you need to and then get back to coloring. The edge of these drawings, where they finish or where they don't, helps create the outline of the letter C. But because it still makes it a little bit confusing to see it, we're gonna add some more details here. But first, oop, I think I noticed something with mine. My letter C, well, I might've made a mistake. Yep, if I put my carbon copy paper over the top of it, I just drew that edge of the carousel that I did not carbon copy. So I'm gonna try to erase it. It's not perfect, but I'm not gonna stress too much. Then from there, I'm going to draw the letter of our big letter that we're outlining, that we're creating a border with, all of these slightly finished drawings. And just keep repeating, keep copying my letter C, filling in those gaps right up to the edge of where the actual C would be, kind of like where you might outline it. And this helps flesh out the C even better. Because they leave that gap, that invisible border, it creates an implied line, an implied shape for our letter C. And that's really pretty cool, that your brain can fill in these gaps, that it can see these disconnected parts that almost just seem unfinished, and finish it off to realize that it's trying to tell us, hey, this is the letter C. But you know what? We're then going to carefully pick up our scissors, and we're going to cut a border, leaving a white halo, a white border, around the edge of our letter to really enhance the effect of the C and our carbon copy drawings. And voila, we have a letter C with carbon copied cotton candy, carousel, and clown for our circus carnival. And note the detail. This is what's great is that maybe you don't feel as confident in your drawing ability or you just get tired of trying to draw the same thing over and over and over again. This allows you to trace and using the perfect drawing that you love, you can trace it over and over and make it almost exactly the same each time so it creates this perfect pattern on your alphabet art. And then when you're done, clean up, 
and then throw your own circus or carnival or carnival circus to celebrate the amazing art that you 